if you are someone that wants to save money, but every time you do, you end up dipping back into it, this video's for you. I went from $40,000 in debt, living paycheck to paycheck in my 20s to becoming a millionaire at 30 years old. Let's talk. Very first thing I need you to do is stop leaving your savings inside your regular bank account. Instead, open up an account with another bank to keep your savings in. We don't want to be mixing our daily spending with our goals. The account that you should be opening is called a high yield savings account. You can generally find these through online banks. This is because you can make up to 12 times more on your money just for keeping it in the right places. Now, why do we do this? You need to first understand that stealing from your savings is a form of self-sabotage. One tactic we can use to overcome self-sabotage is to make the sabotage more difficult. If your money's sitting in your checking account, it's ready to use. If it's in another bank, it's going to take two to five days to get transferred to you, which gives you time to overcome the impulse. The second thing you're going to do is make a list for every single thing that you want to buy before you buy it and then make a rule for yourself and say, I won't buy anything on this list until it's been on there for at least seven days. Because I don't know if you know this, but our brains release dopamine in anticipation of a purchase, which means you'll get the same rush just from adding it to your list as you would buying it. Then you'll have the time to make sure it's something that you really want and not just an impulse. The third thing you're going to do is create something called a sinking fund. This is a bucket you should have within your high yield savings account that you should be using for expected expenses because planning is going to be your new best friend. Need new tires next winter? Know you're going to a friend's birthday next month and need a gift? Figure out how much you need to save from each paycheck and then set up automatic transfers from your checking account into the savings account, into the bucket that you set up. So when the time comes to pay for those things, you already have the cash. If you want to learn more about managing your money without a budget and how to build a fat bank account that works harder than you do, then take our free trainings on our website under freebies.